So welcome to the Airbus A350 cockpit and today we are going through the APU shutdown procedures. So this is its aircraft engineered your go to aviation YouTube channel. So first and foremost we have to have a brief overview of all systems that are running on the aircraft before we turn off the APU so that we know that all systems that are depending on the APU are safely shut down before we turn it off. So as you can see the, the briefings are still running. Let's turn those off. Yes, briefings are off. So now we've got the electrical external power and APU still on. But anyway, we just go through our ECAM pages and we see which ones um, of any interest. So now we go through our engine page. Engine page engines are off. Okay, everything's okay in this page. We go to our door page. Okay, doors are open. This is our wheel page. Uh, nothing special here. So yeah, basically everything's okay on this page. And uh, let's go to our next page, fuel page. Fuel pumps are off. Everything's okay. Yeah engines are not running of course and then we go to our next page elect page we've got our external power 2 that is connected and our external power 1 that is on standby because apu gen is online so once we turn off the apu gen our external power 1 will be connected so this is our batteries and uh, this is our hydraulics hydraulic pumps are off make sure that, yeah they must be off as well this is our flight control page and we go to our apu display page so now let's jump back to our apu bleed we need to turn off our apu bleed and shut down our packs and before we turn off the apu so we come up in the overhead panels apu bleed switch check everything else okay our apu bleed is off you need to see our apu bleed valve close yes apu bleed valve is closed and the flow control valve for the packs are off so with the air conditioning packs off let's go to our next uh, page we just go to the conditioning page, air conditioning page, everything looks okay. Uh, temperatures are okay. And then we go to our pressurization page. If we're going to connect uh, external air conditioning, make sure the outflow valves are open. Um, yeah, just that to avoid any accidental, uh, accidental pressurization. So we go to our APU page. And since everything looks good, let's go to our APU master switch and we turn it off. Which will uh, turn off our APU. APU master switch is off now and we go back to APU page first of all you look at the APU generator it will go offline yes APU electrical generators are offline now so the APU shutdown procedure has begun and and if you notice the APU RPM will drop down to approximately 80% and it will hold at that RPM this is what we call the APU cooling down period this is basically for thermodynamic stability to stabilize the temperatures within uh, inside the internal temperatures of the APU so in the meantime you see our APU generator is off and we can go back to the electrical page to see uh, what's the status of the electrical page because last time the external power was on standby so but okay as you can notice yeah external power is automatically connected as the APU generators are now off so we our aircraft is on external power on um, two sources of external power external one and two are live on the aircraft so we go back to our page yeah i think our apu rpm is now going down we however this is happening slowly and just you can see the egt is uh holding at 420 430 440 degrees celsius so it's basically still in the cooling down period and then after that it will go down and then approximately seven percent the flip will begin uh, the apu inlet flap will begin closing so now we're still at 72 percent it's still holding there as you can see it's holding the temperature of the egt temperature is 440 still holding there okay now we are now yeah now the ap is going through the shutdown period now egt and everything else is going down and as we can see we'll wait for the seven percent approximately seven to eight percent the flap should apu inlet flap should start to close and unlike the Airbus A320, the Airbus A350 will give you a message when the flap is in transition. Like now it's flap moving. And while it's in the Airbus A320, it's either flap open or flap close. So now it's in the flap, inlet flap is in motion uh, towards the closing position. AP RPM is at 5%, still going down. Now our flap is closed and the message will go off when the flap is fully closed. And our N RPM is still now at 0%. Yes, our APU is now officially off. Earlier on, I made a text note that uh, once you turn the APU master switch off, you need to set a timer. Okay, the one difference, one key difference between uh, the Airbus A350 and the other Airbus is that is the Airbus A320, A330, and A340 is that they need to set a, 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 a timer. This is because for the Airbus A350, the power supply must remain on, be it batteries or external power, must remain on for three minutes after you switch off the master switch 
This is to ensure that the fire protection systems are still on in case of any tail cone fire, uh, just to, to minimize the risk of tail, tail cone fire. Airbus recommends you should wait a minimum of three minutes before switching off any any aircraft batteries or removing external power after you turn on the APU master switch. So that's generally how we shut on our APU on the Airbus A350. Uh, stay like and follow for more. Ciao.